folks, what's going on today? We are chopping some corn stalks uh, in fall. I normally don't do this. Um, I got a cousin that does uh, custom round baling that uh, I'm hoping to have uh, come and do this. Um, he made it sound like he should be able to get it done one of these nights. Uh, probably when it's froze, which works for me. Um, so yeah, I guess we're, we're going at it. It's it's going to happen. Um, the only thing that's messing me up is there's no sun right now. Uh, I guess if it's froze, it won't matter. But it's supposed to freeze pretty hard tonight, I believe. Uh, so if, if that's when he wants to do it, that's when we'll do it, I guess. Um, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping he'll come through. Obviously, I know how it goes with custom custom work. You just never know what's going to happen around the corner or whatnot. Uh, so right now, I got the Brilliant. It's a 15-foot Brilliant stock chopper. We picked this up last last spring, early spring. Um, we had a bunch of work done to it. And uh, we used it all spring. We did a few, a couple hundred acres with it. Um, and uh, I didn't exactly plan on doing this. Uh, it was kind of one of those, uh, hey, you know, there's not a lot of snow out. Maybe we should try and get it done. And that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, I hope this machine holds up. I got about 50 acres here that uh, I'm hoping to get done and uh, hopefully get bailed one of these days. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. And, uh, yeah, so... So this is a 15 footer, so it does six rows. So what I do is there, I, I kind of, I center my hood with uh, three rows on each side. And uh, then you should be able to get all six rows just to try and keep yourself efficient, I guess. Looking like it's doing a pretty good job. We've been going probably about an hour or so. So far, it's still working. Uh, this field's about three quarter mile long, so you get a lot done in one one round, I guess. But uh, looks like a lot of stocks out here. There is a little bit of snow yet, which I anticipate will be gone by the end of the day. I'm hoping. Uh, really would be nice if we had, a, had some sun, but I'm just glad it ain't raining or snowing, I guess. Uh, I'm running about 7.2 mile an hour. I got it revved up to about 1,000 RPM. About 2,000 engine speed. Um, if anybody was wondering. Um, so yeah, right in the middle here we got this big hill, which I'm going straight through, I don't know. I haven't really found a stone yet. At least one large enough to um, stop me, I guess. 
Uh, this uh, this hillside here is going to be new seeding hay next year. Um, so it kind of really it really would be nice to get this off. In order to do that, if uh, my dad keeps saying we're due for an early spring once, and uh, he he remembers days that. Uh, they're putting new seeding in in March, which uh, I mean I haven't seen in a long time. I do remember uh, spring breaks being fairly nice, which always was like the end of March. But it is what it is. Hopefully we can get bailing early and hopefully get our corn in early again rather than this first week of June's crap but um, yeah so we're gonna keep going I'm a couple rounds here I'll probably be about half done I would think uh, that's one good thing about the long field is there's not a lot of turning around not a lot of wasting your time on the headlands uh, there's some of the bean straw we were working on we decided since we had this opening uh, and we're kind of figuring that stuff's pretty wet underneath again we're just gonna hit this uh, I probably won't rake this up until I know for sure that somebody's coming uh, that way if something would happen rain or snow that uh, we wouldn't have to bother with it next uh, spring. We could just rake it up and bale it then, rather than uh, kicking it over twice, three times, and doing that. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna keep going. We should have this done before too long. All right guys, so I just ate lunch. Um, I was having some issues, so this stock chopper has, uh, there's two sets of belts on it that run the rotor, um, so it goes, the PTO goes back into a gearbox which splits into two, and, uh, the actual rotor itself is two different pieces, I believe. But it's um, basically both halves are run from different pulley systems. Um, so on each, on the outsides, then there's there's two sets of three bell pulleys, and the one side was slipping. And so what would happen is I'm going along, and all of a sudden it wasn't cutting like it should be. You could clearly see that one side wasn't working properly. So I went, you know, I played with the speed, I played with the height, and uh, I realized that one of my belts was smoking, so it was slipping. So I had to run home and tightened it up. It seems to be working good now. Uh, grabbed lunch quick mom had lunch for me so I grabbed that quick and now we're out here again uh, so yeah we're I don't know if I said this but my plan is to get this uh, stock chopper in the shed and uh, I'd like to work at it this winter what am I a project for this winter um, to, uh, I'd like to replace all the knives. You can't, um, I can't just replace a few here and there because it needs to be balanced. Um, kind of like uh, your lawnmower blade, your lawnmower blade has to be uh, balanced when you sharpen it. Otherwise, you'll take the bearing out of the bearing out of your lawnmower. This is kind of the same thing if 
say on opposite sides if I put a brand new blade and on the other side is a dull you know blade that has 300 acres on it obviously the new one's going to be heavier and it's going to throw it off balance so uh, what you got to do is um, you got to replace all the blades you can't just replace one or two or half or whatever you got to replace them all um, however if you notice something early on I, I believe you can go ahead and throw a new one on uh, say I get 50 acres in and I had a stone and lose a knife uh, you can go ahead and put a new a new one on just to replace what was gone um, I, I'm not an expert on that but I pretty sure you can do that um, but obviously if you get a few hundred acres in you can't put a brand new knife on and maybe you can but the big thing is keep it in balance otherwise the bearings will go out I know I missed a couple and it doesn't seem to be rattling terribly bad but this was kind of a last minute um, last minute thing here so that's kind of why I'm just going at it we did grease it I greased it this morning I checked everything over and then uh, yeah so now we're out here chopping I got I'd say 30 acres to go yet and then uh, I'm thinking that's gonna be a wrap on corn stalks for the year unless we do get some more weather but we'll see what happens. Hey guys, sorry if it's windy today. I uh, will get to the point here and probably take cover. So uh, today is now Sunday. Uh, the beginning of this, you saw me chopping stalks. Uh, with the brilliant here um, if anybody's wondering this is what uh, where my problem was occurring um, the belt I believe it was on this side yeah it was uh, the belts are slipping uh, so this big pulley here turns this little pulley which turns all the all the knives under there um, and uh, there's actually two parts to the, the knife assembly and uh, they run off both sides. The other side is just like this. It's got three pulleys on. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering about that issue. Um, the other thing, we did not get that bailed. The 50 acres that I chopped, um, It all comes down to time and uh, I just I couldn't get anybody here to do it uh, we are most definitely looking into a round baler um, I don't think we are right right now we have I think we're gonna have a lot of expenses here in the next uh, the next few months that need to get paid up uh, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I, I thought I had somebody lined up and he kind of fell through, I think. Um, it got nice and everybody decided to go and uh, I was kind of working with the neighbor here and uh, they were going on their own stuff. So I said, well, don't worry about me, get your own stuff done. Uh, So yeah, I guess uh, I said one good thing is we kind of got a jump start on next uh, next spring, I guess. Um, those stalks are chopped; they're ready to be raked up and baled. So whenever we can get up, get out there, hopefully March. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, 
As for this Brilliant, it works good. Uh, it was just gonna kind of look under here. I know here, here I'm actually missing a knife. So that'll have to be replaced. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'd like to replace all of them. These are all pretty well dull. Go ahead and uh, just replace all of them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you get. Probably the knife and then this buckle. But uh, yeah, so that'll be a project. I'm thinking for this winter, we're gonna try to attempt it. Uh, see what happens, I guess. Uh, and then another thing I saw when I was walking over here, we have this old uh, MC stock chopper, which we did use this spring a little bit. He's kind of in the same boat. Uh, he could use some uh, knives and whatnot. Um, we got a couple holes in the hood, which really doesn't hurt much. Uh, other than that, this thing is pretty good. Um, so this one's got, it just, it runs off one side. The rotor is, uh, is all one piece. And so, uh, let me get in the wind block here. And so, uh, I don't know, it works good, but the problem we were having is it wasn't cutting, it wasn't cutting the stalks. It was, uh, kind of yanking them out of the ground this spring and it just caused a whole lot of trouble when we were trying to bale. We had so much dirt in there and we were plugging up the baler. The one baler wouldn't even take it and yeah it just it is what it is I guess. Uh, so yeah I guess Sorry for that, um, unless something would potentially change, which it all, I guess it all kind of rides on Monday. Um, they're calling for some rain snow mixture. So if it would just rain, I guess. kind of a coin flip I guess what what uh, would happen if it would just rain and then it's gonna freeze hard it's gonna be frozen for like the next two weeks then but if it snows the snows not gonna go away either which at this point the stalks are chopped and the snow is just gonna sit on there and it's not gonna go away so it is what it is like I said we got to jump on uh, we got to jump on spring if it comes to that. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.